All right, this skill right here called transposition is the most important skill you need to understand in math. If you want to do well on any of these exams, whether you're taking the CSEC exams, CAPE, IGCSE, the IB, SAT, or SSAT, understanding transposition is fundamental to doing well in math at any grade level. So we're gonna do two examples to walk you through how exactly we're gonna answer this question. Make T the subject of the formula. So transposition simply means we are moving things around in an equation to make something else, in this case, this, the variable t, the subject of the formula. So what that means is we want to end up with t is equal to something. The subject means t must stand by itself on one side and have all the other variables on the other side of the equation. The way that we do that, I want you to think of an equation like an onion where you can peel back the layers starting from the outermost layer moving in and zoning in on the center that you care about which is T and you're gonna try and move everything else around T away from T to the other side of the equation as efficiently as possible by moving from the outside in so let's begin we see the square root sign wrapping up everything underneath it the way that we get rid of a square root sign is to do the opposite of a square root, which is squaring it, or we're gonna square this side. And as a matter of fact, we're gonna have to square both sides because the first rule of an equation is whatever you do to one side, you must do to the other. So we're gonna square both sides, giving me p squared over two squared, and we know two squared is four. So for simplicity's sake, let's just put four. And that's gonna be equal to t plus r over g. Now the square root sign is gone, which has now exposed this underlying layer. The next thing you need to realize is that t plus r are both being divided by g, which means that g is the next layer we need to eliminate. The way that we do that is by multiplying by g again on both sides. That way we're going to cancel this g and g is going to end up on the left. A simple way that you can visualize this is sort of by thinking of cross multiplying, meaning you can move this g diagonally across the equal sign, as long as there is one fraction being equal to another fraction. All right, so next, we see that we have t plus r by itself. The last step we need to do is get rid of this plus r. Again, the way we do that is by doing the opposite. So the opposite of plus r is subtract r. We're gonna subtract r from both sides, leaving, leaving g p squared over four minus r is equal to t. Now t is the subject of this formula and this is the correct answer. All right, so let's move on to this next question which says c, c, let's leave transposition on the screen. It says c is equal to r squared t plus 2t. And again, we want t to be the subject of the formula. This one is unique because we want one t to be equal to something. But the way that the equation is stated actually gives t appearing twice on the right hand side of the equation so what we have to do first whenever you see this taking place on your exams to get one t by itself you're going to factorize you're going to factorize t from the right hand side well the way we do that is to say well t is common to both terms so we can write t open bracket or outside of the bracket leaving behind r squared because t multiplied by r squared gives us back r squared t plus, and again, if you factorize a t from 2t, you're left with a 2 on the inside, and that's still equal to c. Now we're seeing t multiplied by one big bracket, r squared plus 2. The simplest way to get t by itself is simply to divide by r squared plus 2, because if this is being multiplied, the way that we break this multiplication sign is by doing the opposite of a multiplication, which is a division. And we're dividing by r squared plus 2 as a bundle because that is sort of what's contained in this big multiplication sign. It's t multiplied by all of that. So we can divide by r squared plus 2 on both sides. What that means is these will cancel, leaving c over r squared plus 2 is equal to t. And that is your answer. Again, you need to master this skill if you want to be successful at math at any grade level. This follows you right from grade seven all the way up. So if you're really struggling with this, don't hesitate to contact one of our tutors that get there. We are happy to help you understand this in depth to make sure you can master this on your own to be successful on all of your exams. All right, let's get there.